morning day 14 time to get up and get moving rolled in last night while we were sleeping right next to our heads some blister issues yeah there's a couple i got a brand new one just yesterday on the tip of my pinky toe i think it was from all the going down well yeah we went down steeper than we ever have yeah it was steep yesterday packing up <laughs> process is underway <laughs> Some people are going to the bathroom. Some people are brushing their teeth. With you this morning. I don't know. <laughs> Come on. I'm trying. Your shoes aren't tied. I know. I'm all messed up your hair right for now. days. Ay. I have to wait for him though. Ay, ay, ay. I'm a nice brother. Yep. All right. We're walking. Five miles out the dirt road and then we get to the highway where we can catch a hitch to town. We need to do some resupplying. We need to do some charging up. Of course, the boys want to eat and uh, just kind of come up with a game plan for the next little section. I should uh, check in with a few people too. All right, it's a beautiful morning. It was a little nip in the air this morning, but now that the sun is coming up a little higher, it uh, feels all right. Once we move a little faster, it'll be all right. I just want to explain a little bit how we ended up on this road, because this is not the trail. This is not the Arizona Trail. Uh, we were going through the Superstition Wilderness area, which is a burn section. Getting a little frustrated, so... Oh, goodness gracious. Hello. Wow, all of a sudden there's like a cow next to you. Um, that's going to scare the heck out of Brody when he, if they aren't paying attention. We did not want to skip that burn section, um, but we wanted a little change of pace. Three quarters of it? 18 miles. Okay, so we did 18 miles uh, on the regular AZT. There was a junction. And it was a legitimate trail that just went down the mountain a different way. So we decided to take that, which led us out to this dirt road. So we did like another 10 miles. It just wasn't on the AZT last night. So we still, in the end, I think we're exactly equal. Or are we walking even like a mile extra? I don't even know. Anyway, didn't cut anything off. It just took us down a different way. It gave us a change of scenery. So we kind of came down the back side of the Superstition Mountain instead of whatever side the AZT went down. Five more miles out this road, then we can catch our hitch, which we would have ended up doing today anyway. Svelte Lake, which we think is closed, or Tonto Basin. So we're going to try to get to Tonto Basin because it's first thing in the morning and that's what's open. Eight down there, that canyon. That looks like water, but I don't think it is. There is a little bit of water down here. Um, can we get across it without getting wet? It's just a hair too deep. No, if you cross right there, you're good. Okay. I went the wrong way. You're gonna have to, no, have to, the longer you leave your foot in. Oh yeah, way. don't stand on it too long because you sink down more. Imagine this being like a big river, you know? Yeah, a little water here. Well, and if it was, then you definitely couldn't get up to that trailhead. Yeah, like up to those trails that we came down. Yeah. Huh. I wonder, like, when the last time it was filled up was. If it ever really gets much water. He just threw some dust at us, so we're going to let him get out of the way. 
before we go down that road. Uh, I'd like it better if he went the other way. I don't think he can. Let them have their space. See, there's a little one, you there's guys, two. so we gotta be careful. What we could do, there's an option. We hop this barbed wire and then walk up. We got the one, we got the big one coming That's down. That's a better option than getting the hell. barbed wire. Okay, th this whole... This whole gang seems to be blocking the cattle guard for us. And we got a bull, I think we got a bull in the woods making noise. So, let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna hop this barbed wire. Yes, hop. And come up on the other side. That's barbed wire. Wow. Ouch. That hurt. Okay, so we hopped the barbed wire. So we're on the other side of the barbed wire, and now we can get on the other side of the cattle guard. But this guy is definitely guarding them. Huge bull over there that came down the hill and was making noise. That's cool. He's big. That's awesome. Wowza. Point four. Wait, speak up. Point four through an intersection of dirt road. Uh huh. And across, it says. Okay. Then we go straight, and it is point five two point two five to the highway. Okay, so we still got a couple of miles on dirt road. It kind of looks like. The AT symbol. What's up, buddy? Hmm. Look at that. They ran up onto that hill. They're just hanging out there. That's cool. You think they're three brothers? Sure. <laughs> I hope that when we get to the junction of these dirt roads that it's more solid dirt road and not this deep sandy stuff. Takes a little extra energy to walk through this. That's where we came from yesterday. Like up, up over that. This is cool. There's quite a ranch here on the side of this road. A couple of cowboys in there on the horses. Look at that big old vulture sitting at you. That was big. Yeah. I think we're down to our last half mile. Hopefully we can get a hitch into town on the main road. Um, not have to walk the highway. We made it. Hoping for a ride to town. It's not looking real busy <laughs> at the moment. I'm not sure how this is going to go. Let's not get down on ourselves. <laughs> oh, we got a lot of service. Uh, all right, we might need to make a phone call. sounded like it was a little bit had a little bit more to offer and was a little bit closer together but that's not the case so we went to the pizza place but it wasn't open 
and it's miles down the road. So we're gonna come in here to the IGA where they have a place to sit. Back of the IGA supermarket in Tonto Basin, Arizona. Let's talk about what we're eating. Pancakes with sausage. Uh, bacon cheeseburger. Double cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Uh, chicken tender salad plus a little appetizer. Uh, combo, combo mushrooms and zucchini and mozzarella sticks and an extra stack of pancakes for all of us to share. <laughs> All right, the IGA, also an Ace Hardware store. So we have everything we could possibly need here. Uh, we're, we just had a lot of fun chatting with people back in the restaurant area. We're gonna resupply and then go out front, um, use the Wi-Fi for a few minutes and get moving. So start going to get the ride, Ellie. This huh? is ridiculous. <laughs> I had like over half a gallon of ice cream by myself. Here. What is this? That's a, a gallon? full gallon. So two, a full gallon. Two tubs plus two pints. And I've had at least half of this puppy. You seem proud of yourself. <laughs> we are. <laughs> All right, so tell me. So when Asher and I were walking to check out, right, uh -huh. I put this gallon tub up on the uh, conveyor belt thingy, and it goes down, and the woman looks at us and she goes, uh, So how do you plan to keep this frozen on the trail? And uh, I was like, well, actually, we're thinking about eating it all right now. And she goes, oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and? And we are almost you're done. You're doing a pretty good job. Yeah. What's the problem? <laughs> I feel, feel full. And you, what's your problem? I'm very full. How's the fanny pack? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fit. I had to loosen it. <laughs> Did we finish that? We're not throwing it away. No. no. We are peeling ourselves away from this place. It was awesome, with the exception of we could not get enough service to update Instagram. So we are falling behind on Instagram, but in two and a half days, hopefully, we'll be in a bigger town and can do it there. So we're hitting the road, hopefully not walking the pavement. Hopefully we're going to get a hitch back to the trail. We want to keep walking this one too. Alrighty. We are walking the road, Tonto Basin. I feel disgusting. Well, you ate a ridiculous amount of ice cream. Yeah. That's true. Now we're walking on the hot road. Gotta not love a, it. Not a good mix. So the trail is right up there, but we've got to get to up this road and over to back to trail. Here was our our first helper, Debbie Lavalley, whose son is a famous snowmobiler. Yep. Snowmobile racer. That was awesome. Thank you. Her son is like a world world record holder that's awesome so we're headed this way hook back up with the trailhead all right we just got a ride from chadbo uh he was nice he actually saw us there turned around came back to give us a ride uh super nice guy and we're gonna connect to the trail right over here that's nice. <laughs> oh, you're on video. <laughs> All right. So, so this is Highway 87. The trail crosses it just a little ways back, but we got dropped off on this side of it. So we're just trying to Find out. connect with the trail. I think we need to go down there and then just find just a little bit of barbed wire between us and the trail. <laughs> we got this. We're getting good at this. Why do I feel like we? Get under, get under, Joe. Going under on this one. Come on, under, under, under. We don't want to wreck the fence. And ah. This one's not, uh, yeah. not as sturdy. See, it's not strong. Oh, on the trail again. Just ah. like that. Back on the trail. Hard to believe. <laughs> Whew. Sometimes the people we meet in town <laughs> and the people that get us back to trail. Uh, exactly. Leave us with some funny memories and stories. What do you think? Hey. 
They don't want This is really pretty. So the flowers here in these mountains are popping more than usual. They're calling it the super bloom due to all of the snow from the winter, all the water that's around. It's really creating quite a beautiful show here in the mountains. We think we might stop tonight before it's dark. Really? We'll see. <laughs> We stop before it's dark in a good place to sleep that's actually flat. That'd be the first time stopping before dark. <laughs> first time on a flat spot. Side the road. Although the stars have been awesome. Yeah. I thought you were trying to propose something. Yeah. No. <laughs> like, we just we, got back on. Trail. I was just about to say, we've been on trail like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we're already trying. We're going to hike for a few days before we go to another town. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So this says 400. There's a lot of ant action down here, but we're actually a little bit early. 391. Yeah, it says 391. Okay, it's a little bit early, but that's all right. Apparently, we refuse to celebrate that because we think there'll be another one at the real 400, which yeah. is still nine miles away. <laughs> so we'll see. This huge mountain in front of us, it's got some kind of tower on top. I saw that this morning. I think we saw that yesterday, unless it was another one similar to it. But I think we've come, I think that's the one that we just came right around, like that we saw from the other side. Here in like sand blasted these gates off, sand blasted the rust off. They're shiny. This is awesome. Power lines not so awesome. We'll pretend those aren't there. We're going to climb up a little bit to some ridge, I'm guessing up there. And we're going to find a place to stay up on the ridge tonight. Probably be windy and cool, but hopefully we'll have an awesome view, cool spot, some good stars. You're telling me that's not accurate? No, that's a little off. A couple miles. Okay. Not too far. What's this? This is the way the trail goes. Little Saddle Mountain. Skipped a water source. The boys assure me there's another one about a mile or so ahead as we make our way up to this ridge. Since water. Is that what you mean? Here's so we're going down right this minute, but we're really going up to a saddle. Try to find a spot that's a little um, higher but also sheltered. Oh this is pretty. Point three ahead. It's supposed to be an excellent campsite. Whoa. Well, this was worth going a little further. Beautiful this is. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Even Asher's like, that's amazing. Holy smokes, this is beautiful. This is pretty awesome, huh? Yeah. Did we find a spot? Uh, kinda, yeah. 
Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Two person spot. Okay. Well, there's that one right back there where Asher's standing. There's this one person spot here. Wow. <laughs> this is pretty incredible, huh, you guys? We're setting up before dark. Well, right as it's dark. Yeah, well, it's technically not dark yet. That's true. First time the field trip history. First time on the AZT for sure, maybe in field trip history. <laughs> um, what is this, day? Uh -oh. 14. Day 14. Day 14, and tomorrow I believe we get to the halfway point. We're going to have to pick up the pace on the second half. All right, I just can't get enough of this. This is awesome. Quick pan of this amazing view before I lay down. Good night.